Easter is about wow. It is the biggest event in history. Everything important happened at Easter. We can move my new year. But we cannot move Easter. Easter turned the scared followers of Jesus. Into the most powerful people. And the reason is. We have been completely forgiven. And th this is the cross. And Easter is about the cross. We read in the Bible. In Christ we are set free by the blood of his death. And so we have been forgiven of our sins. You know who put Jesus on the cross? God put Jesus on the cross. In Isaiah 53, that was 700 years before Jesus was on the cross. The prophecy says that Jesus will set us free because of his blood and death on the cross. You know who else put Jesus on the cross? It's you and me. Our sins put Jesus on the cross. We read in the Bible. Jesus was given to die for our sins and he was raised from the dead to make us right with God. Jesus was raised from the dead. And this is why we are not afraid to die. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will have life even if they die. After Jesus died on the cross, he was taken and put into the grave. This was like a grave where people were laid inside and a big stone in front of it. And then after three days, Mary, one of his followers, she came to the grave to grief. But when she came there, the stone was rolled away. And then she went inside. And then uh, Mary went inside. And then she just saw the empty grave clothes of Jesus. Jesus was gone. And she did not know what was going on. But then suddenly, Jesus appeared to her. And he said to her, Go to my followers and tell them I am alive. I will come and visit them. And then Mary, uh, Mary ran to 
the disciples. Let's look how this went down. ไปตรอไปตรอตรอกคลีนอดตรงบักจมหอตรอแม่นเป็นจนรู้ยิ่งเคยตรอมันอาจตรุยตียิ่งเคยตรอมารีประหัยจิตเด็บซิงตีเ
สรีเอ้ยยังมีนเตสกะคำนำใบฟื้We read in the Bible. When the Holy Spirit comes to you, you will receive power. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and in every part of the world. We have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. This is the power that drives out all fear. This Holy Spirit gives us love and hope. And we need this power in order for us to live out our purpose. For example, this hot water cooker. We can put it on the right place, but the water inside will not become hot unless the power is coming in. Unless it's connected, and if it is connected, this water cooker fulfills his purpose. But if there is no power, this is useless. In the same, it is with our lives. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can fulfill our purpose. We read in the Bible. If you know that God's power is very great. For us who believe, that power is the same as the great strength of God used to raise Christ from the dead. This is the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. And you know, in our lives, there are also things that are dead. There are things that are stinking. Things that are dying. The devil wants to destroy our lives, and this is when it starts to stink. We read in the Bible. Our sinful selves want what is against the Spirit. What does our sinful self want? In Galatians 5, we have this list. Sexual unfaithfulness. Worshipping other gods. Witchcraft. Hating people. Being jealous. Angry and selfish, being drunk, and wasteful parties. This is the sinful nature. And this is why Jesus died on the cross. Because we are sinful. And Jesus has changed everything. And through His Spirit, we have a new reality. And this one looks like this. Through the Spirit, we have joy. Love. Joy, peace, patience. 
We have kindness, goodness, faithfulness. We used to have sexual unfaithfulness. God forgives our sins. And the Spirit produces faithfulness. That's why Easter is the best news ever. If you agree, write Amen right now in the comments. Because Jesus, He took our sins and on the cross, He tear, tears up all our sins. And we read also in the Bible that God has taken all our sins and He has put it into the deepest water. Because God wants life. God wants us to be filled with His Spirit. And all we have to do is ask. All we have to do is ask. And say, God, please. Forgive me my sins. And fill me with your spirit. With your love and joy and peace. I want to invite you to pray with me. For this moment, just close your eyes. Jesus, you know I have sinned. And I understand that this is the reason why you have died on the cross. You forgive my sins. And I take your forgiveness. And I ask for the Holy Spirit to come and fill my life with love, with joy, with peace. I need this. And I want you to control my thoughts. Amen. Amen. If you experience God, if God spoke to you through this message, I want you to write into the comments below. Just share a little bit of what God has been talking to you about. Because Easter is about Jesus dying for our sins. But being raised from the dead. On the third day. And this makes the whole difference in our lives. What is dead in our lives. Jesus can bring back to life. And I want to tell you right now, God is with you, wherever you are right now, whatever need you have, you can pray, and God hears you. God bless you.